Hi, I'm Tracy from Barnet Library Early Years Tea. So, welcome to our Pajama Rama party. Um, it is the National Book Trust today are celebrating Pajama Rama, and they do it every year. And they have kindly lent us their book for this year, which is called My Pet Star, um, uh, by Corinne Averis and Rosalind Beardshaw. Beardshaw even. Uh, we're going to be reading that a little bit later. So uh, while I thought we might warm ourselves up with some rhymes first and then we can have a little bedtime story. I hope you're all joining me in your pyjamas, ready for um, a little snuggle on the sofa with a grown up, hopefully. OK, we're going to start with a couple of rhymes. Uh, most of them you probably know. Uh, join in with the ones you do, hum or chant to the ones you don't. So let's get our fingers ready. One little, two little, three little fingers, four little, five little, six little fingers, seven little, eight little, nine little fingers, ten little fingers wave. Hello! One little, two little, three little fingers, four little, five little, six little fingers, seven little, eight little, nine little fingers, Ten little fingers can clap. <gasps> We're going to do a bit of tiggling. So you might want to tiggle your teddy or a grown-up or yourself. Ready. One little, two little, three little fingers. Four little, five little, six little fingers. Seven little, eight little, nine little fingers. Ten little fingers can tickle. We're going to do one with our thumbs now, so give them a wiggle. Tommy thumb up, Tommy thumb down, Tommy thumb dancing all around the town. He dances on my shoulders, he dances on my head, he dances on my lap, then tuck them into bed. Should we try it with all of our fingers? Yeah, let's give that one a go. Fingers all up, fingers all down, fingers all dancing all around the town. Dancing on my shoulders, dancing on my head, dancing on my lap, then tuck them into bed. Excellent. Okay, we might do a bit more tiggling. Um, you could use a teddy again if you want to. We've got round and round the garden. So on your hand, on a teddy, on a grown up. Anyone you like. Round and round the garden, like a teddy bear. One step, two steps, and tickle you under there. You might have some bare toes or a bare foot you might want to tickle too. Let's give that one a go. Round and round the garden, like a teddy bear. One step, two steps, and tickle you under there. Okay, I've got another thumb one that I remembered yesterday, so we'll give that one a go. It's called, my thumbs are starting to wiggle, my thumbs are starting to wiggle, my thumbs are starting to wiggle, around and around and around. Let's try our hands. Our hands are starting to wiggle, our hands are starting to wiggle, our hands are starting to wiggle, around and around and around. Tickling, you can never have too much tiggling. Our fingers are starting to tiggle, our fingers are starting to tiggle, our fingers are starting to tiggle around and around and around. Lovely. Okay, so just a few more finger ones and then we'll get a bit active and then it'll be story time. So you might want to hold out your hand. Uh, you can make a little spider with your fingers. I'm going to, I have a little spider, I'm quite lucky. Are you ready? I have a little spider, I'm very fond of him. He crawls up to my shoulder <gasps> and right round to my chin. He crawls up to my nose, oh no, and jumps up on my head. But when he's very tired, he runs back down to bed. Night, night. Oh, give him a kiss. Now we could try a big, fat, hairy spider. So 
So you can make your hand really big. Oh, I have a big fat hairy spider. He's a very friendly one though, so we're okay. I have a hairy spider. I'm very fond of him. He crawls up to my shoulder <gasps> and right round to my chin. He crawls up to my nose. And jumps up on my head. <gasps> but when he's very tired, he runs back down to bed. Night, night. Night, night, spider. Excellent. So, we've warmed ourselves up a little bit. And I thought we'd do uh, our bear song. Because some of uh, the families have written in to us telling us what their bear's been up to. And we'll get all those last wriggles out before our story. So... It's, it's called There's a Bear in our, well, on our sofa, not in the forest. So today, Heidi and Arlo let me know that there's a bear on their sofa. So we'll start with a bear on the sofa. You might want to use your bear. You can jump up and do the actions, or if you're feeling a little bit tired, maybe bear can do all the jumping and the actions for you. There's a Bear on my sofa, not in the forest. How did he get there? We don't know. There's a bear on my sofa, not in the forest. How did he get there? We don't know. Well, Arlo and Heidi told me he jumped. Oh, he Jumped on the sofa, jumped on the sofa, jumped on the sofa. Yes, he did. He jumped on the sofa, jumped on the sofa, jumped on the sofa. Yes, he did. <gasps> okay, so who else spoke to us this week? Ah, oh, Alyssa told me there is a bear in her rucksack. Wow. There's... A bear in my rucksack, not in the forest. How did he get there? We don't know. There's a bear in my rucksack, not in the forest. How did he get there? We don't know. Well, thank you, Alyssa, for telling me. He climbed. So you could do some climbing actions or get bear to do the climbing for you. He Climbed in my rucksack, climbed in my rucksack, climbed in my rucksack. Yes, he did. He climbed in my rucksack, climbed in my rucksack, climbed in my rucksack. Yes, he did. Okay. Now, Amelia told me there's a bear in her bath. Oh my goodness. I hope he likes water. There's a bear in my bath not in the forest how did he get there we don't know there's a bear in my bath not in the forest how did he get there we don't know well thank you amelia she told me he slid into the bath oh my goodness okay bear are you ready to do some sliding he slid into the bath Slid into the bath, slid into the bath. Yes, he did. He slid into the bath, slid into the bath, slid into the bath. Yes, he did. <gasps> and finally, Arthur told me there's a bear in his bed. I'm sure it's a friendly bear and ready for a cuddle, Arthur. Are you ready? There's a bear in my bed. Not in the forest. How did he get there? We don't know. There's a bear in my bed. Not in the forest. How did he get there? We don't know. Well, Arthur told me he's a very lively bear and he danced into the bed. Oh my goodness, I'm looking forward to this one. Are you ready to do a bit of dancing? He Danced into the bed, danced into the bed, danced into the bed. Yes, he did. He danced into the bed, danced into the bed, danced into the bed. Yes, he did. Well, 
I hope all those bears are very happy where they are now. Well done. Fabulous. So we're going to get ready for our story. We've got rid of all those wriggles now and hopefully we're cuddled up with a bear and they're grown up on our sofa or in bed, whatever's comfy for you. Let's get our book ready. So, as I said, the lovely book trust have allowed us to read this. Um, it's story time. It's story time. What's it all about? So My Pet Star by Corin Avrissi and Rosalind Beardshaw. I found him underneath a tree. Not somewhere a star should be. He'd fallen from his home in space, bumped and tumbled, scratched his face. This little star had lost his glow. I picked him up. We hugged. Hello. I took him home. He'd be my pet. I'd be his cosmic super vet. I cleaned off all the leaves and soil, fixed his arms and legs with foil, washed his face and rubbed his back, served up a homemade cosmic snack. Mmm. I showed him pictures in my book. He couldn't read, but he could look. And when I went to bed that night, I tucked him in and held him tight. He needed love and time and care, and I had lots of that to share. As days passed by, I learnt a lot about this newfound pet I'd got. He wouldn't wait till after dark. He missed our ice creams in the park. He never spoke or made a noise. He didn't play with games or toys. He just smiled and shone as if to say that being near me was okay. Soon his sparkle got so bright found it hard to sleep at night. Instead of snoozing in my bed, he twinkled proudly overhead. I opened up the window wide. Would he choose to stay inside? Feeling strong and good as new, into the deep, dark night he flew. Whoosh! Now my star shines overhead, where I can see him from my bed. The brightest star who wears a smile. My pet star for a little while. And there is the star up in the sky. What a beautiful book. Thank you again for the book trust for allowing us to share it. Well, I hope you enjoyed that story too. So we are going to finish with Twinkle Twinkle. How could we not? Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high. Like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what 
You are fabulous. So we might have a, some bubbles, possibly, if you can see them. Let's see. Oh, fabulous. And we'll finish with our Staying Safe at Home song. Clap your hands and wiggle your fingers. Clap your hands and wiggle your fingers. Clap your hands and wiggle your fingers. Staying safe at home. Stretch your arms and wave goodbye. Stretch your arms and wave goodbye. Stretch your arms and wave goodbye, staying safe at home. Stay safe for everybody. Goodbye.